We were not ready. That admission from some officials in Clarendon. As you will hear in this report, some critical waterways and drains in the parish were still blocked hours before the impact of Tropical Storm Ian. Jamaica was spared a direct hit by Tropical Storm Ian. But some local government representatives in Clarendon are still left asking, what if? Minority leader, the Clarendon Municipal Corporation, C.N. Barneswell, is convinced the parish was not ready. When Minister Mackenzie said that we are prepared, I'm wondering if his level of preparation is to remove the people from, low, from the low-lying areas or the flood-prone areas using public transportation, if that is level of preparation, then God help us. We travelled to some flood-prone areas, including the woods in New Longsville, to see if preparations such as drain cleaning had taken place. But the signs from the flooding as recently as two weeks ago were still evident. We saw piles of debris, including bottles in the waterway. In other drains, vegetation is thriving. Councillor Barneswell said with the exception of one area in Mitcheltown in southern Clarendon, not a lot was done. Maypin in particular were expecting that, that promised money to do consultation and improve the drainage system in Maypin. Nothing has been done. So expect flooding in Guinea Tree, expect flooding down by Tiger, Tiger Market, um, Glenmere Road, Manchester Avenue intersection. Expect flooding in the Fernley Avenue era because those drains that should have been clean wasn't clean. We were promised to have critical drain cleaning done in July by the minister. No money was sent. We submit our drain cleaning program in August to have money to clean the drain in September going into October. No funds come, no drain clean. The last drain cleaning exercise done in the parish was done in May. But Maypen's Mayor Winston Mirage said the municipal corporation is doing what it can. Are you, are you getting enough support from NWA, sir? Well, we have not been hearing much from NWA. And of course, the member of parliament has been trying to get some funds from the NWA. But there's very little funding coming from what I'm hearing from NWA. But I can assure you that all the municipal drains will be cleared and have, are being cleared now. Clarendon is listed by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, as the parish with the most flood-prone communities in the country. For that reason, the authorities are being urged to be proactive with their preparation over the next few weeks and not leave the fate of residents in flood-prone areas to luck. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.